All right, hi guys, it's me, your girl Katie, back with another unboxing video. So, I'm unboxing this month's Owl Crate. So, I know it's taking me a while to get this video up. To even film it. But, I was trying to finish one of the books from one of the previous boxes, and it took me forever to finish that and then I wanted to hang some stuff up to have more room for books in my room and now I just want to clean my room so I was waiting until I got up the nerve to clean my room still haven't done it yet but I figured hey might as well film this now sorry I'm getting really close all right so let's open it this month's theme the theme for July was Trials and Tournaments, I'm pretty sure. And I know you guys have probably already watched a bunch of unboxings, but watch mine because, I don't know, I think I'm fun. Do you think I'm fun? I don't know. A lot of my stuff has not been getting a lot of views. But, whatever. Gotta stick with it, right? Okay, so you open the box. This is what it looks like inside so we have sorry guys working with minimal space this says tournaments and trials this is the card that has the descriptions on it owl crate annual b race that's so cute i love this art Whew, okay sorry i just filmed another video before and I get distracted easily. I'm sorry. Okay. So, first things first in this box. I see this little thing. And it is a coin purse. It says, keep your coins and treasures close to your heart. With this canvas coin purse inspired by the Hunger Games, this item was designed just for you by Kit Kronk Studio. And it says, may the odds be ever in your favor. And it has little arrows on the back. That is so cute. I love this little owl crate thing. That's what it looks like inside. This would be handy for like going to amusement parks or something. So definitely going to be using this sometime in the uh, near future. Okay. Next thing is the, I love this box. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, is the mug for, uh, themed with Harry Potter, as you can tell by the box. I might just keep this box, guys, because this is so cute. Um, it's supposed to be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and apparently they've had two other mugs based on two of the other movies from the same designer um yeah it says we're so excited to be including the next design in our harry potter inspired ceramic mug series we were inspired by the daunting task of the triwizard tournament and we love how artist kara kozik brought the scenes to life okay so it comes with bubble wrap this oh my gosh i've tried the bell's coffee from one of our last boxes amazing and i can't wait to start drinking it out of this mug okay so it has the dragon trial and then it has the sea where they have to go and rescue their friends from the mermaids and then it has the maze and then it also has where they go in the cemetery and Harry has to fight Voldemort in the fourth book slash movie. So, um, this is also my favorite movie um, out of the Harry Potter series. I love the tournament movie. The Triwizard Tournament, the best out of all of them. I say. 
but that's just my opinion so I am so excited to use this mug guys oh my gosh it is so cute okay also this box I really am gonna like just have this for decoration in my room because this is so cute. <laughs> Next thing is this, oh, which is a puzzle. It says, test your attention to detail and your patience with this challenging 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. Holly Dunn Design illustrated the puzzle and she hid many fun little details from the night circus throughout the imagery. Use the accompanying art print to help you on your quest to complete it. So I think, yeah, I think this is the art print. So I think this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. It says, people see what they wish to see. It comes in this cute little bag. And there it is. I'm not gonna open this and put it together right now because I don't feel like putting a puzzle together right now, but I will put it eventually. Um, if you wanna follow me on Instagram at crazykitty96 or, yeah. Instagram at crazykitty96. I will probably post a picture once I'm done putting it together on there, but I don't know when yet, so don't rush me. Thanks. All right, the next thing is a deck of cards. This is what it looks like. And it says, are you ready to use your elemental magic to win the Essentech? I think is how you pronounce that. Touch? Essentech? I don't know. Have fun with this deck of playing cards inspired by the characters from A Gathering of Shadows. Talented artists Nicole Deal, Gina Hilton, Marianne Martin, and Diana... Duarak, sorry if I butcher your last name, um, Diana, illustrated the different character cards and Michelle Gray designed the numbered cards and stunning packaging. Okay, it is real stunning. So this is what it looks like. I was kind of hoping that this would be the Knights of Circus one, but I guess it makes sense. I haven't read either of these books, so. but I have them on my to read list, so don't hate me. I don't even know how to open this. There it is. All right. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Then it has all of the people who designed that suit of card. It has their names on here. So it looks like hearts were drawn by, or the face cards for the hearts were drawn by Nicole, and then Marianne had diamonds, Gina had spades, and Diana had clubs. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Oh my god. Ah! So that's the Joker card. These are like real nice. Real nice cards. Okay. So few of the number cards. Are these that thick? No, okay. Oh, guys. They're sticking together here. So... Here is the Jack, the Queen, and the King for the spades. So sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Try my best here, guys. Okay, then here are some cards or some number cards for the diamonds. Okay. 
Okay, and then here is the Jack, the, <laughs> the Queen, and the King for diamonds. And then clubs is real weird because it starts out with the King, the Queen, and the Jack. Um, if you know who any of these characters are, please feel free to let me know um, because I have no idea. Okay, so this is some of the number cards for the clubs. Okay, and then hearts. King. Oh, queen. She really pretty. And Jack. And then number cards for the hearts. This is a really nice deck of cards, guys. I cannot get over that red. Oh my god. I love that. Okay. Excited to have my very own deck of cards. That's special. <coughs> she almost fell. This is Tonks, by the way. She a cutie. She a cutie. She got a name tag. She hates it. Um, you want to say hi? I love her. Also, um, she a little bitch, though. Okay, next thing. Says... Okay. Oh, this thing. This is, says, channel your bravery for every time you use this exclusive, sorry, channel your inner bravery every time you use this exclusive lanyard. Inspired by the sele selection and designed by Four Seasons Fox, it's the perfect, it, oh, I cannot talk, guys, it's the perfect accessory to take with you to any book festival. And it says, bravery hides an amazing places and then has a bunch of little plant life that is upside down that is always going to be upside down for you guys yep unless i do yeah ha -ha! got it um camera angles guys <laughs> look at her she's like this my human is an idiot i cannot okay um love lanyards can always use more more lanyards and it's so cute. Okay. And lastly, I think we are almost to the book. But I want to get the pin out of the way first. This is such a cute pin, guys. Okay. This says, Dust and Pages has created a gorgeous enamel pin inspired by the final three dresses that Maya has to sew in Spin the Dawn. This pin also showcases the magical scissors that Maya uses on her quest to become the next Imperial Tailor. Nice. It is so cute. It's got a sun and a moon and a blue ribbon and blue scissors. And as you know, my favorite color is blue. Sorry, guys. Got really close to the camera there. So, excited about this pin gonna stick it up on my pin banner uh, as soon as I'm done with this video now there's this thing it says kingdom of souls oh an advertisement perhaps it doesn't say anything about it there but it says grandmother said I will be a powerful witch doctor one day but I cannot wait that long it's kingdom of souls by Rena Baron then it says cool card um it says a captivating YA fantasy debut where magic has a price if you're willing to pay on sale 9319 visit renabaron.com slash kingdom of souls to get an exclusive content and it has epic reads down here so cool promo card it looks awesome might have to read them oh, okay so, get this up out of the way. Lastly is the book. 
whale and then the um, thing and the spoiler for next month. Okay, so the book is Spin the Dawn and as for my guess right now about it, um, it's about a girl who um, wants to be a tailor and so she joins a competition to become the next Imperial Tailor, I guess. I don't know. That was just my guess from what I read in the card about the pen. Okay, so this is one of the art pieces that came with the book. It says, I'm tired of being told I'm not worthy. Spin the Dawn, Elizabeth Lim. And then we have the um, card. I love this art, by the way. This book art is incredible. Sorry, incredible. Um, this says, when Maya sees an opportunity to both save her family and fulfill her dream, she poses as a boy. Hmm, move on. And enters a tournament to become the next imperial tailor for the emperor. Maya is thrust into a cutthroat competition where her talents are pushed to the limit. To make matters worse, if the secret of her hidden identity were to ever be revealed, she could lose her life. We absolutely adore the lush writing, high stakes, epic quest, and slow burn romance within the pages of Spin the Dawn. We hope you love this exclusive edition, which is signed by the author Elizabeth Lim. We also hope you enjoy the letter from Elizabeth and the exclusive matching bookmark. Oh, it's a bookmark? Where'd it go? Um, this is a real, um, different bookmark. I never would have guessed that that was a bookmark. That is so cool and unique. Love that. Um, so, oh, Blood of Stars Duology. Oh, this is the author. Elizabeth Lim. That's the, you can't tell, but there's like, yeah, 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 the sun. Okay, so do you like guys like when I read the um, description of the book and the letter? Or do you just want the description of the book? You don't care what the author has to say um, because you get your own um, boxes and you already know. Because if I don't have to read those anymore, I'm completely fine with it. Um, so I won't read... Well, no, I'll read this one. Anyway, so the description says, A gifted tailor in disguise, three legendary dresses, and the competition of a lifetime. On the fringes of the Great Spice Road, Maya Tamarin works as a seamstress in a shop of her father's, once a tailor of, once a tailor of renown. She dreams of becoming the greatest tailor in the land, but as a girl... The best she can hope for is to marry well. When a royal messenger summons her ailing father to court, Maya poses as his son and travels to the summer palace in his place. She knows her life is forfeit if her secret is discovered, but she'll take that risk to save her family from ruin and achieve her dream of becoming the imperial tailor. There's just one catch. Maya has one of the Oh, sorry. Maya is one of the 12 tailors vying for the job. The competition is cutthroat, and Maya's job is further complicated by the unwelcome attention of the court enchanter, Eden, who seems to see straight through her disguise. Who seems to see straight through her disguise. But nothing could have prepared her for the final challenge to sew three gowns so dangerously beautiful. It will take a quest to end to the ends of the earth to complete them. Whoa. All right. Oh, and it's signed. Bitch. Signed. Cute. Okay. Can't wait to start reading that. All right. Okay. So. Um, I will read this letter, and then if you guys just let me know um, if you would like me to stop reading the letters and the description of the book, then I will do stop doing that. Then. <laughs> 
or keep doing it depending on what you want. Okay, so this says, Dear Owl Crate readers, Spin the Dawn is a very dear book to me. It draws on several stones my father told me when I was growing up. The Chinese folktale, the cowherd and the weaver, Charles Perrault's donkey skin, and the Norwegian fairy tale East of the Sun. These three enchanting stories feature intrepid young women, perilous journeys, and star-crossed love, themes that are woven throughout the spin of dawn, throughout spin of dawn. If you have not had the chance to come across them, please seek them out. Maya Tamarin, the main character of Spin the Dawn, was loosely inspired by my grandmother, who was a seamstress for many years after she immigrated to the United States. She used to, sorry, she used to hold me on her lap while she worked at the sewing machine, her fingers moving so fast I'd watch in awe. Maya, it, Maya too, is an experienced seamstress, but in a rather different world one rich with myth, intrigue, and magic. Her journey takes her to the far reaches of her kingdom on a quest to make three legendary dresses of the sun, moon, and stars. I hope Maya's tale enchants and captivates you. Please enjoy Spin the Dawn, Elizabeth Lim. And that's what her writing looks like. So, um, looking through this, the next um, theme August theme is storms and seas and I did pick up two of the books that are going to be featured items not the books themselves but stuff inspired by those books I picked up those I'm gonna read them before August comes and so then I'll understand some of the stuff I get in the box because I'll have read those books so the first spoiler we have is an exclusive item from Riddle's Tea Shop. So we're gonna be getting tea in this next box. Um, I really hope it's based on the siren, the siren's call. I don't remember. No, I'm so dumb. Sea Witch. I think I've read a book called The Siren's Call before though. So, oh, okay. Um, so the, booklet actually has the names of all of the characters on the cards so that's nice for when I read that book um, and then it just tells you about um, the mug and other books to read and the author not much of a difference on the books this time it's just more blue the original is more purple and then it has our July photo box challenge so thank you all for watching another one of my videos um, I love you guys wholeheartedly and I hope you guys also enjoy watching my videos sorry my cat is crazy see you next time bye guys <laughs>